All right, guys, it is Sunday evening, which means we are getting ready for Monday morning's workout. Tomorrow, I'm starting on the Anaerobics Diet 3.0, which is a targeted ketogenic diet. Targeted ketogenic diet means I am going to be taking in protein and carbs before every intense workout I do, just to give me a bump of energy to fuel me through better than if I had been on a standard ketogenic diet, okay? What I'm gonna drink in the morning before my workout is a mixture of whey protein, about 50 grams of protein. Now, there's a difference between the grams of protein and the grams of protein powder. At 24 grams of protein per serving, I'm gonna need two servings to get up to 48 grams of protein, which is about 50 grams. But a 24 gram protein serving is 31 grams of powder, okay? So that means I'm going to have to put in two times 31 grams of powder or 62 grams of powder. Do not trust the scoop. Sometimes the scoop's accurate, sometimes it settles a little bit and it's not accurate. So what I actually do is I weigh out 62 grams of powder on a scale into my shaker bottle. Then I do the same thing so I get 50 grams of dextrose powder. This is 100% dextrose, 100% carbs, so 50 grams of powder is actually 50 grams of carbs. So all I do is weigh in another 50 grams of powder into my shaker bottle and then I know I've got exactly the proper amount of carbs and protein that I need in the morning. All right guys, it is about 5.30 Monday morning. I slept a little bit late, but I can kind of afford to because on the anaerobics diet 3.0, I am not cooking or preparing any food in the morning, okay? Um, it is a carb timing or a targeted ketogenic diet where I have carbs in form of simple sugar right before my workout. So right now, all I'm doing is concentrating on getting hydrated, probably drink about half a liter of water before I leave the house. Uh, right now, I'm going to take 200 grams of caffeine. It's the same as a cup of coffee, but I don't have to actually make and drink the coffee first, so I save time. Don't really like pre-workouts. Right now, I'm just going to write down my goals twice, of course, a la Grant Cardone. And then I'm going to go ahead and get off to the gym after I've drunk my water. All right, guys, finally made it to the gym. Uh, on the anaerobics diet 3.0, I'm going to be taking in 50 grams of whey protein and 50 grams of carbs from dextrose about 30 minutes before my workouts. Now, because I'm going to be tanning for about 10 minutes and I'm going to be stretching before I do my weighted dips and my body weight pull-ups this morning, I actually waited until I almost got to the gym to uh, drink my pre-workout meal, okay? So... I'm gonna go ahead and finish drinking this, and I'm gonna get my workout in, and then I'll uh, see you for my next meal. All right, guys, meal two, post-workout. 200 grams of chicken and 28 grams of almonds, and it's all fried in olive oil. I throw on some sea salt and drink some more water with it. Now, the anaerobics diet is basically keto with some carbs pre and, and sometimes post-workout, so, I already had my pre-workout meal, I already did my workout, and now for the rest of the day, I'm basically gonna be eating on the pure protein diet because that's you know where I am right now in terms of keto, okay? I'm trying to cut, I'm trying to maintain my muscle while I lose some more weight, so it's gonna be basically chicken or chicken and almonds all day, just like the pure protein diet, but I'm gonna get that little bump of carbohydrates right before my workouts, so I really get in some really intense workouts, even though I'm on low calories, low carbs, and low fat. All right, guys, my meals at uh, 12 o'clock and at three o'clock in the afternoon are the same as at nine o'clock, so I'm not gonna go into showing the same food again and again. I just wanna show you a little bit about how I prepare and how I cook my meals. So first of all, I used to just pour in a little bit of olive oil into the pan. That was a sloppy mess. Uh, it splattered everywhere and it made, you know, just a mess everywhere. There was even like an oily mist through the kitchen. It got over my face, got over my glasses. And then I realized that this, you know, you could get olive oil. This is not the best, but you could get olive oil that's pure olive oil. It just sprays in. This is what I used the first time I was on the anaerobics diet. As you see, it's very little bit, very low calorie, much lower calorie, much lower fat than if you pour in olive oil, much less of a mess. And as you can see, when I go shopping, I cut up my chicken right away, weigh it into 200 gram uh, bags, freeze it away. So I'll just take one of these, throw it in the pan, throw in 28 grams of almonds, and that's it for my. 
All right, guys, second workout of the day, which means this is my second dextrose powder and whey protein shake of the day. I am basically just keto, or in this case, pure protein diet, except right before a workout. So I have two workouts today, and I'm replacing two of my pure protein meals with dextrose powder and whey protein powder. Wednesday, I only have a morning workout, so in the afternoon, instead of having a second shake, I'll just have chicken and almonds. Same calories, it's just a question. If I'm working out, I'm going to have some uh, carbs instead of fat, and if I'm not working out, I'm going to have fat instead of carbs, but the protein always stays the same, and the total calories for the day always stay the same. All right, guys, last meal of the day. Once again, it's 200 grams of chicken. Once again, it's fried in olive oil spray. And once again, I've got sea salt on top. This time, I'm just having chicken. I'm not having any almonds. Remember, your macros don't really change your total calories, okay? So it's a ketogenic diet, or in this case, it's the pure protein diet. But every time I work out, pre-workout, instead of having fat, I'll have carbs, okay? So I had a whey and dextrose shake pre-workout, chicken and almonds at 9, 12, and 3 o'clock. Then I had a whey and dextrose shake before my PM workout, and now at night I'm just having chicken. Total of 2,143 calories, which is about 11 calories per pound of goal body weight, 195 pounds, 297 grams of protein, which is about a, a gram and a half of protein per pound of goal body weight. So it's 56% uh, protein, 22% fat, and 22% carbs.